Hello, you all beautiful Libra. So uh, this video is going to be dedicated to your week, uh, November 30th to December 6th, 2020. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, guys, just to put out there that should you be interested in a personal reading or you're interested into tarot classes, into taking tarot classes, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website where you can pretty much have an information for either of these subjects and uh, of course uh, purchase them. So with that being said let's move to the uh, liberal reading straight away and uh, the first one that we do have for you that is to be the Ace of Swords followed by the next one here so that, that, that is going to be the topic of your week here and the next one is going to uh, relate to the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. And next we do have the challenges that you should and need to overcome that will be uh, the seven of swords followed by the next one which represents the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week that is going to be the queen of swords followed by the next one which represents the um, impression that you are living into all around your friends your colleagues your family even your uh, your partner in life and so on and so forth that is to be the two of wands uh, moving next, we do have the obstacles that are to hold you down, to hold you back rather, and we do have the death card there. Moving next, it is the uh, positive, uh, the positive aspects of the week or these things that are to push you forward and to help you. That is to be the six of pentacles. And the last one, finally, we do have the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Libra, or in other words, you can put that card as what is the best thing to do throughout the week in order to get through it with the most benefits possible. That will be the Five of Cups. So quite an intense week. It is what we do have here. Uh, intense in the sense of that you uh, are going to be uh, are very active because your physical manifestation of uh, of the reading, it's, it's all about not exactly not just only action but as well putting a good thought into things but let's uh, look into the first two cards first and foremost that does represent your topic and as well the energies which are feeding up the topic itself so that is to be the ace of swords and the temperance card uh, they they are manifesting in two ways one that it is a higher way if i may say it that way and the other is the practical way so let's um, uh, run through the practical way as it is uh, way more um, how can i say narrow than the other so practical way here you are going to start feeling the necessity to attend to all the things that you have postponed up until now and throughout the week you are going to feel like the chores needs to be done in this this very moment okay whether you like it or not those chores are yours and nobody is going to do them for you so you would prefer to do them earlier than later and have your time after you do them for yourself that is going to boost your week and is going to make you um not going to make you but is going to put in the front stand your extreme spiritual strength which is going to uh, support you through all that th through that journey and my my point here is that you are not going to be nor um, exhausted from tackling with all, the, all these chores nor you are going to be bored all right it, it seems that you're going to find a way how to make the time that you do spend and also the all the activity that you perform uh, tackling with those chores to run pleasant and to run interesting as well now on a philosophical level though or into the higher level what we have here is the power of the understanding. The energies that are feeding and supporting the topic are gonna make you see, and not just only you, but everything that it is, everybody that is connected with you, to see each one's perspective. And uh, there is a, a very good, I could say, symbiosis in between the Ace of Swords and the temperance especially if the temperance is feeding the ace of swords then you do realize ah but i never put myself into this person's shoes that's why you know 
I, I, I never saw his point of view. So it's very likely that throughout this week, people are to see your points of view as you are to see people's points of view. Uh, and it is a, um, a, a tremendous week, you know, to, to set off arguments, um, to clear out misunderstandings here, and in general, to place on an accurate diagnosis or an accurate perspective, not perspective, but perception, I'm sorry, over the situation you are standing in, what you gotta do, how you gotta do it, and where you have to move from now on, moving, uh, that is moving forward. But the uh, strength of spirit is gonna linger in there, is gonna stay there, and um, you should not have any doubts that you are gonna make it through. And it's not even making through, making it through, but you are just going to push the things through. And uh, one more thing about the energies, you are to feel a abnormal amount of warmth and an abnormal amount of solidarity and compassion that it is sent towards you, not just only from the universe, but as well from everybody that is related to you. So moving next, we do have the challenges that you are to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the seven of swords as a challenges. These are the things that, you know, the things that are difficult for you to do, but you are going to do them. This is the week that you are going to overwhelm those challenges. And uh, that is uh, about your personal standing with the seven of swords. Uh, it seems that um, spilling the last drop, I think, is this how you, in English is said. Like, you know, you endure, 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 and finally, you know, you just snap it's because you cannot endure anymore. And uh, with the Seven of Swords, it seems that this time around, you are going to surprise a lot of people because uh, they never saw you in that light, the light of a, of a lion or a lioness if you would prefer, that is ready to do whatever it takes to protect what is his or what is hers. And what you are protecting here is what I said beforehand, the, your points of view uh, of how you should proceed forward with your career, with your relationship as well, in generally your plans. What you are protecting as well is your chores uh, or the benefits from those chores and so on and so forth. But the biggest challenge that you are going to overwhelm, it is the challenge of asking. Um, because I don't know how to say it, but you are going to learn first and foremost to say no when you don't like what it is offered to you or what you are asked of. And also you are going to learn um, to ask if you want something for you are to realize, especially with the Ace of Swords and the Temperance card, that if you don't ask, the answer always, always is going to be no. So uh, moving next, we do have the uh, gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy here throughout the week. We do have the Queen of Swords. I cannot say that that is a faithful companion of yours, not by a large margin. I mean, Queen of Swords, she is a lonely wolf. She, she just, you know, she just does things that are within, you know, with her own benefit, unless there is a misjustice out there. It's just the Queen of Swords cannot stand injustice. And uh, this person is going to aid you throughout the week. That is your gift and blessing. And uh, pretty much this person has all the answers of your troubles. That could be your lawyer. It could be your physician. Uh, you know, it could be your uh, medical doctor or the physician and medical doctor are the same thing. It could be your friend that pretty much, you know, fix things into your relationship or into your career. You know, that really eager friend to help. And when he, she, she or he tackles the things, things magically happen. That could be your valuable uh, connection that you do have that pushes your things through, regardless what it is. This person here can push and will push your things through for they see that you are struggling unjust and they are going to aid you and that's all you need, like I said, to push your things through. Very emancipated person, person who can make use of everything around. Like I said, they, don't, they have a huge amount of justice, not just only self-righteousness, but as well of a justice. And if it is about health uh, it's, uh, and that's a physician, they are going to find what is wrong with you uh, if that's what's the problem and they're going to assign you the appropriate therapy, medications, so you can get much, much better. 
Moving next, we do have the, uh, the impression that you leave into people around and that is going to be the two of wands. So people are going to see you very striving in a sense of um, or in a meaning of that you are never stopping in one place. Uh, it's very difficult to describe. It is like when somebody tries something, they see it works and they don't want to let it go and they are all consumed with that thing. So that is the way that others are going to see you. And uh, if you kind of like see yourself a bit lonely, that nobody is approaching you, uh, except that Queen of Swords type of person, and nobody is, uh, how can I say, asking you, for example, how are you doing, and etc., etc., that is because they have an impression that you that you don't want to be bothered, that you do have much more important things than uh, than them than for example your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your family and so on and so forth. So if you do feel lonely throughout, uh, throughout this upcoming week, it is, um, or the week December and uh, November 30th to December 6th, it will be best if you reach first because like said, uh, the, these people are not guilty, I mean, of, of charge. They just don't want to um, sap your enthusiasm, if I may say it that way. Uh, they are going to see you very tenacious uh, and kind of like focused in one particular fulcrum. Uh, also, there is a, a big chance that uh, certain individuals, depending on their character, uh, are going to see you as a very good um, match. But it doesn't feel like a romantic match. It feels more like more like a mutual benefits type of match. You know, you do me this favor, I'm gonna do you that favor. That way, we both benefit from each other. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you will have to uh, the, the obstacles that are holding you back, that are holding you down. And that is the obstacle of the death card. Oh man. Um, the obstacle of the death card is always about not willing to let the past go. And if it's not the past, it's about a certain habits or certain behavior. And that's, that, that's what you pretty much, this is what pretty much holds you back. Either the, uh, the past that you never severed the uh, relationship with or a relationship with, or a certain behavior, um, habits, or in general, a code of conduct. Are you gonna be able to overcome that? Uh, it's very questionable. If you ask me, you, people don't just change because they hear a tarot reading or because someone tells them. People change when something happens, something makes them to change. So just so you know that if, if things are not working out for you in a way you want to, it's not because you're not capable of, but because you still have what to work on yourself to let go of the past or to change certain, like I said, habits or behavior, code of conduct, perception, so on and so forth. And if it's perception, I think that that's the week that you're going to do it. But I want to say one more thing about the death card here, guys, uh, and that is especially if it relates to your past, that I know that sometimes letting go of the past is very painful. I mean, I'm not a, sen a senseless person, okay? But think of it that way. Yesterday is yesterday. Uh, and if we try to recapture and relive yesterday, what we do is just losing tomorrow because the time moves on. It doesn't wait for us. And when tomorrow comes, we're trying to relive yesterday again and we are just losing the day of tomorrow. And there is, it just it doesn't make any sense. Just think it that way. So moving next, we do have the positive aspects, things that are, that are going to push you forward throughout the week. And that will be the uh, Six of Pentacles. Oh, uh, Six of Pentacles, uh, it's a very broad card, to say the least, in that particular position. So what uh, really tells us, uh, it's, it's a couple of things now. First one is that the hierarchy is going to be brought to bear which means that whatever you have, no one can take away from you, whichever path you're straving to, nobody can sway you off it, okay? Or whatever place is meant for you to be at, nobody can take it from you. On another hand, 
The Six of Pentacles also uh, points that should you look for help, which comes here from the Queen of Swords, that help only serves as a guide rather than something that really resolves the matters for you. Uh, because uh, what happens with the Six of Pentacles, it is that, uh, just look at the card. I mean, I will try to explain you the, explain it to you with the card. We do have a rich man and two beggars, right? And probably the beggars are uh, begging the rich, man, the rich man for a change. And the rich man gives them a change. But does this change anything for the beggar? I mean, yeah, the beggar is going to buy a, a, a warm meal, probably is going to rent a place to stay over the night, but tomorrow the beggar is going to be still a beggar. And that change that the rich man gave to, beggar, to the beggar, it did not change the rich man's financial state at all. So even if, you know, there is somebody to save the day now, there won't be the same person tomorrow. And uh, you are to realize that throughout this week. And instead of relying on someone else to not, not exactly resolve your issues and your problems, but like push you to resolve them, you are going to start depending more and more on yourself and taking the matters more and more into your own hand. And that will help you humongously. And the last one is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. We do have the Five of Cups here. Um, just a few things I'm going to say about this card, guys. Whichever, whichever path you walk right now, the guidance is that that is your path, at least for the duration of the week, at least for the time frame of the week itself. Whatever you get disappointed from, it's going to be just a temporary. Whatever loss you are to experience, it will be a partial one. Just don't deviate from what you chose to be or what you chose to follow. And that being said, Libra, this was your a, a weekly general tarot reading, guys, for uh, November 30th to December 6, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then. Bye.